All right, welcome to a new day of Advent of Code. Day number 12. We are almost halfway in. And today we are making a hill climbing algorithm. Some neural networks. We are making a height map of the surrounding area. The height map shows the local area from above broken into a grid, the elevation of each square of the grid is given by a single lowercase letter. Up to the highest elevation Z. We have S, location that gets back signal. You should do it in as few steps as possible. During each step you can move exactly one square up, down, left or right. The elevation of the destination square can be at most one higher than the elevation of your current square. If your current elevation is M, you could set to elevation N but not to elevation O. So in this case we can go to A, B, C, 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 D, E, F, G, H, I, K, O, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, D, U, V, W, X, 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 Y, Z, go. Um, but how do we know? The elevation of the destination square can be at most one higher than the elevation of your current square. So how do we know what the elevation of the core is? Let's uh, let's just get the puzzle input t twelve dot txt and move that to my inputs. You can spiral around the core. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. Oh, okay. Your current position has elevation A and the location to get the signal has elevation Z. That's good. Let's, uh, let's first read this. So we got our lines, that's good. Let me actually import default dicts because I love default dicts. I should actually start selling merchandise for this uh, YouTube channel with mugs that say I love D4 Dick or something. <laughs> for uh, let's let's parse the let's parse the lines first for Y in um, or map height map is D4 Dick. By default, we have a super high height. Um, I think it's ORT of car. Yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as we get a number out of it, that's good. Um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, 
and we have start is none, end is none. Um, if car is s. So let's make sure, let's actually make it y, x first, because that's the way I like it. Line is line dot strip. I think we now have a pretty good height map. And then the lowest was A. And the highest was C. And we can of course test this now out with the beautiful example input. This is actually something I like because then it makes it clear for us what's going on. And let me change this into tapos. But this seems to seems to look okay. Um, and then now the question is, what is the amount of steps towards the goal? What are we going to do? I guess we are going to do a star. Um, okay, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, this is so much cheating. Okay, we indeed want to have a queue, we indeed want to have a set of visited nodes um, while there is a queue, queue.pop, if process and return steps, perfect, visited.add disposition, um, So here's the thing which is special here. If um, so, we got our height at a certain position, which is height map at boss, and, and the new position is plus y plus x, just to make the variable names. There. Uh, new height is height map at new pos, and then we have to make sure that if um, minus one is smaller or equal than new height min height pos, yeah. Okay. Value error, no path found. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so it says we don't have operand types for collection D for dict and int. Which 
which is weird because height map post should not be a default X. This also works, I think, if height difference is smaller or equal than one. But let's print the new height and the height pass. Okay, I'm still amazed. Oh man, you are probably already, if you're watching this and you already see what I'm doing wrong, why don't you click the like button so I know how many people do this better than me. Also, this is one of those typical co-pilot things where you're like, oh, I thought it looked pretty good. I thought it indeed did exactly what I wanted to do. Um, and in this case, we didn't even implement the A star part but that's that's fine in this case i think because we have a relatively small uh day 12 so we can just keep expanding um in a breath first search um but What is a new pass then? Zero one. Here we're doing the I'm really confused, if you couldn't already tell. Okay, so we got a queue, nice. We have a new height, we got a height boss. We're starting here, right, so we can go to two different places. It is really the first time we do this plus x, this plus y. Um, why? Why? Oh, why? What is happening to our height map actually? Let me let me check that one again. Oh. Oh what? Holy shit. <laughs> it was the creation of the default dict. Okay, that absolutely messed it up. Okay, that absolutely messed it up. It's, uh, I guess, a good reminder of um, of having to to very clearly look at what's going on. Um, okay. So 
So now we got a queue. We're searching, searching, searching. And in this case, what is our goal? It's nice to record and 5,2. We are at 4,2. Where are we getting? Where are we not getting? Zero, one, two. Zero, one, two, three, four. Are we getting to two comma four or not? Four. Yeah, we are getting to two comma four. That's good. In 30 steps. If new boss this is the end my only friend the end um Okay, so apparently the end of 5,2 is encoded as 9,9,9. I am confused about that as well. Because here we set it to E. Found the ends. Mm. Okay, so one thing which I guess we are already maybe doing a bit wrong. is that we are thinking here about x and y and y and x and we are confusing the heck out of that um, so we should probably at least make that clear. Here. Okay, now it works. That's good. Switching Y's and X's is never good. So now if we run this with our example input, I mean, I guess this can take a while. Let me already start implementing it. Q is zero. Let's change uh, this to a star search. Q dot sort, perfect. Um, so then we got um, like heuristic, but we're never not really using it. 
then um, so it's heuristic plus uh, plus distance. Then heuristic is uh, yeah. I guess we can use Manhattan distance and minus the new plus y plus. 1 minus 2 plus 1, q dot depend, heuristic plus steps. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. That's what Roland always says whenever Copilot suggests something. So let's try this again. Part one thirty one. Perfect. And then I don't expect us to have a lot of issues here. Where is the start actually? Oh mm. we need a capital S though. Um, we got an end. Oh, here's the start. Oh, wow, look at how. How deep this can go. Mm. Mm -hmm. I guess if boss and visitors we can continue because otherwise we keep expanding the same things. Ah, look at that. No path found. Okay, what am I doing wrong? I always thought that I was pretty okay at implementing pathfinding algorithms, but apparently not at 6 a.m. So once I ex let's let's keep thinking about this. So we sort sort um, sort um, by expected um, expected expected distance um, to end using heuristic uh, and check if it is the goal Let me actually check what S start is here. Start is Y at 20, X at zero. That's good. I mean, that's, yep, that looks reasonable. Um, which places did we visit? So did we, for example, visit the end? No, of course not. Let me also see how you are supposed to get here. X, Y, Z. Don't 
W, X, Y, Z. Oh, uh, okay, so let me not remove my code immediately. Um, no path found. Y in range len lines. Um, if y x in visitors is find the path to the end in visitors. So this is a bit weird because we visit all these places, but they are meant to be A, right? So I think I'm still doing something wrong if I look at this. See, no, okay. No, I indeed cannot reach these places. Um, and I have no clue. Let me see. W. V. V. So you're meant to go here. U. So you're meant to go here. T. Okay, well, that's weird because we are getting here. We're just not entering the T somehow. Which is a bit weird. We somehow cannot go down or left. Oh no, never mind. S, T. You. Q. Q. A. Q. R. S T I don't even see the path myself. That's terrible. Well, I guess me intently staring at the webcam is also not the best thing to look at. Q. Right, let's be. So here we still end up. Q. R. 
S Am I am I now dumb? Let me read this again. As few steps as possible during each step, you can move exactly one square up, down, left, or right. The elevation of the destination square can be at most one higher than the elevation of your current square. Uh, this also means that the elevation of the destination square can be much lower than the elevation of your current square. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is something I did not think about. Okay, so in this case, it's only important that new um, height minus height boss is smaller or equal than one I think mm -mm -mm -mm. 350 Submit. All right, and we have another day of uh, please read the question before you do anything. <laughs> okay, I wonder how many people got that wrong. Um, but I think that cost me a good 10 minutes, right, to find this bug. Uh, and uh, I had to solve the entire thing myself. And the elves will want to turn this into a hiking trail. Good point. The beginning isn't very scenic, though perhaps you can find a better starting point. To maximize exercise while hiking, the trail should start as low as possible, elevation A. Now the trail should still be direct, taking the fewest steps to reach its, its goal. From any square at elevation A to the square mark E. Six choices. If you start at the bottom left square, you can reach the goal most quickly. What's the fewest steps required to move starting from any square with elevation A to location that should get the best signal? Okay, okay. Um, part two. Let's see. Min steps is uh, visited. Also start in uh, in my height map um, if height map plus start is equal to zero. That looks good. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess I can just return uh, a very high number. That is actually fine in this case. Okay, so now that we're doing a lot of pathfinding, um, Wait, is it really 349? That would be ridiculous. If the best path is only one shorter than... Uh... Oh, no, why do I keep doing this wrong every day? Is it 29 here? 
Okay, well, here goes nothing. All right. <laughs> That's, that was a very lame answer. <laughs> I guess. But uh, yeah, then on the other hand, why not? The only thing which is now a bit lame is that the runtime is 7.7 uh, .7 seconds. I guess in this case you could also do like a reverse search actually. Oh, that would be pretty cool. Like you could try to turn it into a... You could flip the, the problem actually and take the end goal. Say that you can only go down one, but you can yeah, you, you, such that you make sure that you, like you always do as a kid, right? Where you take a maze and you go from the end to the start. I think the first, although in this case, oh, you, you do need quite a lot of rewriting because in this case you don't have a fixed end. You're f searching for an A. So, oh, and you don't have a heuristic, but you, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is basically like saying that chocolate ice cream is just like a lasagna if you only change the uh, chocolate to layers and the ice cream to tomato sauce. But you can do a breath first search from E uh, to any A and um, make sh and change the, the um, limits you have here towards where you can climb. All right. Then I guess that's it. 37 minutes. I am not unhappy, not very unhappy with the pathfinding algorithm we made. That, uh, that was pretty cool, uh, especially because we turned it into a star search so quickly, which really helped here in part two, I think. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that I indeed think. Um, and I am very unhappy with the fact that we misread the question and uh, basically didn't see this. Must at most one higher. And then I just stopped reading this example. So yeah, look at our beautiful advent calendar, by the way. We uh, have a nice bridge some streams, some trees. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this. I had a lot of fun programming. Um, maybe like this video if you actually like it because I have no clue who's watching, but I saw that some people watch it from start to end. So I hope you had a fun podcast or something and have a nice day.